And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at one of the new expansions for Legendary, the New Mutants, who a weird name for a group, and it's incidentally, since the New Mutants have been around for a long time, a bunch of teenager X-Men essentially, but now they're all adults in the comics and such. But of course, movie coming out, as far as I can tell, doesn't have a lot of correlation with the comic itself, but hey, who knows? Either way, there's a lot of very popular characters in here. Um, Warlock, Wolfsbane, Sunspot. You know, uh, uh, it adds a mechanism that I've seen in other uh, deck building games. I think Ascension had it. And uh, Moonlight and Sunlight, or Odd and Even. I'll show you. Many of the sets have a lot of different mechanisms. This one has one basic mechanism, and that's sunlight slash moonlight. And sunlight and moonlight is gonna depend on the cards that are in the hero row. So if, for example, these were the cards in the hero row here, and you have all these cards out, you're gonna look to see if there's more net, odd numbers or even numbers. Here, they're all odd, so when all the cards are odd, then it's moonlight, or more cards are odd. So when three of the five cards are odd, it's moonlight. When three of the five cards are even, it's sunlight. So that comes into effect here. Sunlight, you may put a hero from the HQ on the bottom of the hero deck. Moonlight, draw a card. Now the rule book says that if the character is moonlight, which in this case, you'll notice that she has a card, Wolfbane has a card that's moonlight, uh, all their cards are odd and Sunlight, all the cards are even. That doesn't help you when both are on the card, but it is what it is. So Wolfsbane has the night vision here, and then she also has Howl at the Moon, where you can look at the top card of the deck, Hale, and put it back. And then here, look at the top three cards of your deck, and discard any number of them, and put them back in any order. And then if it's Moonlight, you get to print it of all the cards you discard it from your deck this turn. This is actually a really cool card, so uh, that's pretty neat. Then we have Mirage. Mirage is also a Moonlight uh, character, or at least that particular card is. And she has Waking Nightmare. This is the other small mechanism that this set includes, where Waking Nightmare means you discard a non-gray card from your hand, which could be negative. In her case, it's positive because she gets to, um, you get to draw a card to replace it, so that's positive. And also, she gets attack equal to the cost of the card you discard it this way. So that's a pretty powerful card, frankly. It's one plus whatever card you discard. And then she has this Haunted by the Demon Bear, where whenever a card effect causes you to discard a card from your hand, you get plus two. And then Moonlight, you may have a Waking Nightmare. Well, there you go. You can just do that right now. If it's Moonlight, get rid of the card, and then this is a six attack. So that's pretty neat. Uh, then we have Sunspot, who's all about the sunlight, except this card is sunlight or moonlight. But here, Sunlight, you may put a card from your hand on the bottom of your deck, get plus two. Here you can put a card from your hand on the bottom of your deck, plus one for each other X-Men card you played this turn. And then he can put any number of heroes on the bottom of the deck, so he's kind of a deck cycler kind of character. Then we have Warlock, who is uh, Sunlight and Moonlight, I guess. This is a very specific one, and if you play another tech card, you get both. The first time you defeat a villain, you can KO one of your cards or a card from your discard pile. And then his big card here, which could be draw three cards and get plus three money and attack. That's awesome, but you need to get both. You need to have four X-Men cards in play, which I think is a little tricky to pull off. And since it's pretty tricky to pull off, I'm not sure drawing three cards or plus three attack, plus three money is worth it. The draw three cards is pretty good. I don't know. I don't know if I would buy this one. Then we have Karma, who isn't really using a whole lot of new stuff, but she is my favorite character in this set. So she gets a villain and plus one for each villain adjacent to it, which is pretty good for a three. Guess a color, then reveal the top card of the hero deck and put it back on the top or bottom of the deck. If you, get right, if you guess right, you get plus two attack. I like this card a lot. Um, first of all, it's plus two. I mean, it's two attack anyway. There's a small chance it will be four attack. But either way, revealing the top card of the hero deck and putting it on the bottom or the top is still a useful ability, regardless of the guessing. Then she has Karmic Balance, which reveals top card of the hero deck, and you can recruit it. 
Plus, it's four money, which isn't bad. That's a nice combo. And then you can KO one of your cards or a card for your discard pile. That's just a really handy thing to have. Get rid of one card and have another. But it's her big card that I really enjoy. Pick a villain in the city and you get attack equal to its victory points against another villain or a mastermind. That's just a lot of fun. Thematically, it works really well. Bad guys are in this set too. They also have sunlight and moonlight. So here we got the demons of limbo and a bunch of nasty guys with different ambushes and the things that happen when they escape. And, and you know, that I actually think the sunlight and moonlight works better for the villains than it does for the heroes because you're trying to manipulate it to watch how dangerous they might be. Thunderbird is normally a good guy. I don't even remember when he was a heli and a bad guy, but I guess he was at one point. And then we have these different things. Here there's walking nightmares too, which are very problematic because Walking nightmares in this particular set can be bad because they just, they hurt you. They make you get rid of a non-gray hero. I mean, they're not awful, but they can mess up your strategy. So there's a lot of cards with that. And in fact, the two new villains of this set, which are Emma Frost, the White Queen, and Belasco, Demon Lord of Limbo. So he has the Master Strike that will do something different, whether it's Sunlight or Moonlight. Moonlight gives people a walking nightmare. Um, she has Master Strikes, and then she stacks them next to herself, and everyone gets a Waking Nightmare for each one there. I don't think either one of these characters is particularly hard to beat, although their legendary or their epic ones are much more difficult, uh, but they're annoying, I guess. Now, oddly enough, I'm not a fan of the schemes in this one. Well, uh, well, the Crash the Moon and the Sun is just basically twists come through, and you get rid of them. It's just minor changes to that that thing. The Demon Bear Saga takes a very specific look at one of the villains that comes out. Okay, that's fine. Trapped in the Insane Asylum is pretty pretty nasty because it gives you a sanity test and you either take this thing in front of you, which is going to cause you to randomly play cards from your hand if you get three of them, the enemy loses, or you discard a card to give it to somebody else. So that's kind of a pain. And then Superhuman Baseball Game is just so dumb. I get that these things happen, but they just kind of change the whole thing up. Hey, we're playing baseball. I haven't played with this one, and maybe it's super fun to play, but it just doesn't look fun at all. Those are the cards in this set. There you have it. Now, there's one thing that what the game rules tell you to do is they say that if you have more odd, push them up, and if you have more even, push them down, or the other way around. I don't remember. I just wish this had come with a token. It would have just been easy. In fact, I might build a token for this that just says Moonlight or Sunlight. And that way you can just glance and say, ah, Moonlight, Sunlight. They're like, well, remember, there's even an odd. But that doesn't help you when a card has Moonlight and Sunlight on it. And it's still not something that instantly remembers. Having a token out there would just be simple. Hey, there's more e odds or evens. It's Moonlight. It's Sunlight. I, I would have preferred there just to have been like a round token that showed a sun on one side and a moon on the other. Uh, that might have added to the cost. Even a card that could have done that. But... Eh. Other than that, I like the, I like the ability just fine. Uh, like I said, I enjoyed it when it was an Ascension. It's a little fiddly, like I said, to keep track of it, but it works fine. The heroes that it's on, I don't know that I necessarily want to always be like, okay, I'm going to buy this card so that Moonlight happens. That just seems, that seems problematic. Now, you could build your deck with characters that have a lot of odd cards, cards and then just play with Moonlight or just play with Sunlight. You know what I mean? You could, you could stack the hero deck in such a way that you don't even have to worry about it. Like, wow, it's almost always going to be Moonlight, right? Um, although that seems a little, a little unethical. I mean, I guess you can build your deck any way you want. That being said, I do like the new Masterminds They're, and the villains. I like the Moonlight, Sunlight, and how it works with them a lot. And Karma's just a great character. She might be in my top 10 characters of the game so far. Uh, a lot of fun to play with. So I like this expansion. I like the characters. It's an interesting mechanism. Very simple and easy to add. The Waking Nightmare thing eh, works fine. It's not as bad as it sounds, although there could be that situation where you're like, hee, hee, hee. I have to discard this card, no. So it can be bad. Um, and I don't like the new schemes pretty much at all, but I have so many schemes I don't care at this point. I don't even, they could never make another scheme and I'd be fine with it. I'm here for the new heroes and villains and this has them. So the mutant mutants, check it out. Dice Tower Judgment approved. Thank <laughs> you.